because of your existence, two beautiful, innocent lives were denied a full life. I always pray for the Reisinger and Ravenel families because your pain must be uncon unconscionable. The accident play over and over and over in their heads and I'll hear screams at night. You killed a mother and a daughter. You did. No one else in this city but you did, Cameron. So on count one, sentence him to nine years. On count two, sentence him to 15 years or total 24 years Florida State Prison. It was a sentence heard around the world. 21-year-old Cameron Heron was going away for 24 years, but it might not end there. The stiff sentence is now being appealed by Heron's attorney. I thought it was a very, very high sentence. Criminal defense attorney Bjorn Brunvand, who is not connected to the case, says the defense will argue the judge abused his authority with a heavy-handed sentence and is asking the court to give Heron a second chance. The appeal would basically uh, examine what the judge did. You know, whether or not he violated the law in any way. Heron is accused of racing another teen, John Barano, on Bayshore Boulevard and hitting Jessica Rabinold and her baby Lilia as they crossed the street, killing them both. Last year, Barano took a state offer and pled guilty to vehicular homicide and unlawful racing and is now serving a six-year prison sentence. Heron got four times that amount and now wants a do-over. Most likely to argue that it should be uh, reversed for resentencing. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. The appellate court has agreed to hear arguments on the motion. The decision is expected soon after. We will, of course, be following it for you.